Close your eyes and watch your breath. In some ways it's the same breath you've been watching all along, in other ways it's not. It's this breath right here, right now. Try to get away from the concept of the breath and be with the sensation of how it actually feels. When you breathe in, where do you feel it in the body? You may feel it in areas that you might not expect. So try to put aside your preconceived notions about the breath and notice when you breathe in, where do you feel an energy flow? Because when we talk about the breath, that's the, we're talking about more than the air, it's the energy flow that allows the air to come in and out of the body. And this energy flow can be felt anywhere in the body, even down to the tiny nerves that go out to the skin. But for the time being, focus on wherever it's most prominent and see if you can breathe in a way that's comfortable. You can experiment for a while with long breathing or short, fast, slow, deep, shallow, heavy, light. Or just pose the question in the mind, what would really feel best right now? And see how the body responds. And try to be fully aware of the body, all the way down to the hands, all the way down to the feet. You want to be totally immersed in the body. That's one of the meanings of the term, gaya katasati, mindfulness immersed in the body. Your awareness fills the body, you're conscious of the body, you're keeping the whole body in mind. And you want to be in the body, in the breath, bathed by the breath. So you're not just sitting on one side and looking at the breath someplace else. You're totally surrounded by it. And that's how the mind can actually become one. Otherwise, there's a sense of the object there and the mind here, but you want to be here in the object. The awareness and the object ideally should become one. So wherever there's awareness, there's also breath. That doesn't leave any space for other things to come in. If they do come in and nibble at the edges, that's where they stay, just at the edges. But if you suddenly decide that they're interesting, you drop this and you go running off. That's where we lose things. This is one of the reasons why we have the contemplations of the body and contemplations of the, the world. They give rise to a sense of sanguega, so that when thoughts about these things come up, you say, ah, no, enough of that. Let's try something new. So it's not just a technique we're working on here, it's also a sense of values. What's really important in life, what's really important to pay attention to right now. Because we don't have, know how much time we've got. The Buddha never taught that the present moment was a wonderful moment, but he did teach that it's an important moment. It's important because there's work to be done here. And every time he talks about being in the present, it's always because you don't know how much more time you've got, how many more present moments you will have to do the work that needs to be done. So here's your chance. This breath right here, right here. And see what each new breath can teach you.